The problem with the tableau rasa concept is that although the human mind may come into being without any content, it does come into being with many appetites, cognitive styles, preferences, etc. These might not be content per se, but as soon as they begin to interact with the world, content quickly coalesces around them. Yeah, that, that is all true. Um, and, and it's absolutely true that much of the content that uh, starts being created in our minds very early ages is not content that we have consciously curated. It's not content that we have consciously, logically, rationally, is this true, is this not? So we come to all kinds of conclusions when we're children. We come to all kinds of conclusions, decisions. We observe things. We come to conclusions about them that might be completely wrong. Oh, Troy, wow. Thank you, Troy. Really, really appreciate that. Troy just gave 500 Australian dollars. So we're, we're, we're killing it today. That's great. Killing it is a bad term. We're, we're doing fantastic today. Thank you, Troy. Uh, really appreciate it. Um, what was I saying? Yes, yeah, so it's absolutely true that a lot of the content that ultimately shapes our emotions and our uh, shapes, uh, you know, much of what we are and who we are later on in life is content that is developed when we're not critical. Content that's developed when we're not thinking consciously about things because we don't have the tools to think about them because we're still too young. And, it, it, you know, this is why, I think partially why you go through a teenage period where everything is on the table and you challenge things. This is why many good people land up having to see psychologists because, it, you know, some of these bad conclusions that you come to growing up are very hard to dislodge once you get to a point where you can see, oh, but I'm responding to this in a wrong way. And it's why changing your sense of life is almost impossible or very, very difficult because it's kind of content that's ingrained in you from a very young age and it's very, very who you are. So all of that is true, but, but what isn't true is that the content is there to begin with. So a lot of evolutionary psychology is about content that is not genetic, and therefore, for example, if a, 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 a father has certain traits or certain or certain ideas or certain beliefs, it, that's not automatically passed on to the children through, you know, because it's not in the genes. Um, and the father can influence the children through education, but not through the genes in terms of ideas. But there's no question that uh, much of the content. Is uh, a co is created in periods of time where we can't we can't monitor it. We can then change it. So people are changeable, no question about that. But but it requires skill to change. And again, you list here appetites, cognitive styles, preferences, etc. I mean, hopefully, the field of psychology will at some point get finer tuned in terms of what it is exactly that we inherit, what it is exactly is in our mind, what does it mean to say appetites, cognitive styles, preferences, do those have real content? And then the field of psychology would, would fill us, fill that content. That, that is, um, that is the, uh, the, um, the role, I think, of psychology at least as a theory uh, to explain. And, and I don't think we have the concepts right. I'm not sure if appetites is right. I don't think we're born with appetites. Uh, cognitive styles, I, I don't like that one either. Preferences based on what? So I know what you're getting at, but I don't think any one of those terms actually captures what you're getting at. And we need those terms. Those terms are crucial. And one of, my, one of the reasons I'm suspicious of evolutionary psychology is because they should have those terms. They should know exactly what is inherited, what is not, or what is, uh, what is an idea and what is not. They don't have any of that. They don't have any of those concepts. And, and as a result, um, I, I think that the whole field is gobbled, gobbled. 
Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com support, by going to Patreon, Subscribestar, Locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see The Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.